is happening, Magnus Act. I saw this poster being released. It looks as if the statue has been mended back together. And I said, our movie news is going to have some more information about this that I probably don't know. So, let's check this out. Mm -hmm. Should be interesting. By the way, did y'all get your tickets? Oh, sold out. I don't know how fast it was sold out. Sold out, man. It is what it is. I'll do what I can from home base, I guess. Zack Snyder has just released a poster promoting the Snyderverse trilogy, and it has half the fandom believing he's confirming that the Snyderverse will be restored, and the other half believing he is moving on. And to tell you the truth, it does seem like the latter from what I saw on the poster, the words, but you never know. We'll, we'll see. Let's, because I only, I read it once and then I, you know, it's like, okay. Welcome back to our movie news. Zack Snyder has released the very first poster for SnyderCon and it has the fandom talking a lot. Mm. Does it mean he's moving on or is he teasing more? Well, hopefully we can work that out in today's video. I tell you this, like I said in my other video, what it could be, the fact that Zack likes posts that talk about bringing back the Snyderverse, letting him finish his vision, the next two movies, and the fact that um, he likes posts that have to do with his current work and Rebel Moon, and he's doing his thing and he's happy at Netflix. That does not mean that he would not eventually come back to finish his vision. He likes the idea of working with Netflix, working on Army of the Dead Universe and Rebel Moon, and he likes the idea of finishing his vision. So what this could mean is that yes, okay, I am moving on. However, you damn right restore my Snyderverse and I will be back to do them those movies if we can cut a damn deal. You know what I mean? But I, I think the way the poster looks, looks like it's celebrating his first three because it talks about a trilogy or something like that, I think. Anyway, let's keep going. In the caption of his poster, Snyder said this, Super excited for this incredible three-day event to benefit AFSP. Look for the link to purchase your tickets tomorrow at 8am PDT. Thank you Warner Brothers for all your support helping to make this happen. So here is the poster for the Snyderverse. Now first off, right. this is an amazing poster. Yeah, I know that I am definitely <laughs> getting this printed <laughs> off and framed because this has to be one of my favorite Snyderverse DC posters trilogy, of all. Which makes it sound final to me. Makes it sound final to me. <sighs> which I don't like. But that... You know, I mean, I get it. I mean, the man needs to make peace with this at the same time. And you know what I mean? Um, so, hey, I'm celebrating the three that I've done. Yes, I will come back to finish the uh, to do the other two. But yes, I am moving on. I can get that time. Now to focus on the details. The monument that is placed front and center is of Superman, created in Batman v Superman to thank Superman for saving the Earth from Zod. In Batman v Superman it was destroyed by Doomsday yeah. and stayed destroyed all the way through the Snyder Cut. So for mm. this poster they have put Superman's statue back together. Mm. But remember that part because it is very important to those who believe that this is Snyder saying there will be more Snyderverse to come. And that's what I was thinking, too. I was, like, looking at the statue, and I was like, but the statue's reformed. That's like that, like that feels symbolic of, like, I'm back. You know what I mean? Now, the title above the statue says, Ten Years of Heroes, Three Epic Movies, One Man's Vision. 
and below we have all six of our Justice League Heroes logos. Placed below the statue we have our main title, the Snyderverse Trilogy. So when I first saw this poster and the caption used, it implied to me that this was Snyder saying it was over. The title stating the Snyderverse is just a so trilogy the and the thing. caption thanking Warner Brothers for their help all indicated to me that Snyder was moving on, as Grace Randolph did report that Warner Brothers were helping with the event in some way that would allow Snyder to say goodbye to DC and to move on to Rebel Moon. However, since then, fans have been breaking the poster down even more and have come up with some interesting theories. Hmm. First of all, the statue. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the statue was destroyed and was never put back together. However, in this poster, you can clearly tell it has been pieced back together. Mm -hmm. Or in other words, it has been restored. Now, they could have used the original statue <laughs> that wasn't broken for this poster, but Snyder decided to clearly show the cracks in the statue to show that it was pieced back together. Hashtag Restore the Snyderverse! Could this be the first clue of Snyder hinting that the Snyderverse is going to be restored? This next clue was discovered by Sammy, also known as Snyder Queen, on Twitter. The other clue is the hand positioning of the statue. Now, if we look at the statue from Batman v Superman, we can see the right hand has three fingers curled and two fingers stretched out, with the left hand angled up in the air as if he's reaching out for something. Now if we look at the posters version, mm. the right hand remains the same, three fingers curled and two outstretched, mm. but the left hand is clearly different, this time facing more towards us in a high five position. Now mm. we all know Snyder loves cryptic messages, and this could have been his latest one. Interesting. Sally believes that the left hand has changed to display the five movies that make up the Snyderverse. Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, Zack Snyder's Justice League, and Justice League 2, and Justice League 3. And the right hand having three fingers curled implies the three movies we already have. Oh, 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 Man of oh, Steel, oh. Batman v Superman, and the Snyder Cut. And man, you fans be, man, I tell you, the, just the stuff y'all be finding, man. Woo! The two fingers outstretched are the two movies we are waiting for, Justice League 2 and Justice League 3. Now, all I would say is, this would 100% be the actual message Snyder is hinting at if he is still doing cryptic posts. If this is intended as a cryptic poster by Snyder, then I completely believe that this is the message he is trying to hint at, and if that is the case, then I think it would confirm that the Snyderverse will be restored in some form. But that is the problem right now. We don't know if Snyder is being cryptic or not. We don't know. No one knows. People can have their own opinion, but no one factually knows if Snyder is being cryptic or not. And so no one factually knows if Snyder has moved on. We are all just stating our opinions on this, and mm -hmm. unfortunately, some are stating it as fact. Snyder confirmed yeah. on Vero that every post he makes has another meaning to it. So there are some solid grounds to believe that this poster is one of those double meaning posts. However, we don't know if that comment is still relevant today. All I know is Snyder loves his cryptic posts and has been doing them since the release the Snyder Cut days. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is another one of them. I know some people mentioned the Universal logo being at the bottom of the poster and hoping it might mean something, but it's just there as the IMAX screening of the Snyder Cut is being held at the Universal City IMAX screen. Uh, okay. So unfortunately, that doesn't mean anything. All I would ask are these questions. Why did they change the hand position? Why didn't they use the Superman statue before it was destroyed? Yeah. Why did they use the restored version of the statue? Yeah. We haven't seen the statue rebuilt yet, so why use it? I yeah. think these are all valid questions that may have perfectly normal answers, <laughs> but to not ask them yeah. and instead just see what we want to see instead of other potential answers too could be a bad call. I think there are very valid arguments for both sides. Yeah. Everything from the actual poster and the caption implies he is moving on. But if it is a cryptic post, then it could mean he is continuing. Yeah. It really depends on what perspective you look at it from, and yeah. so to not at least ask those questions would be a dangerous avenue to go down. And that goes for life in general. To only see our own point of view, and to not at least look at and deeply think about the other side's point of view, would mean that we aren't open to other ideas, ideas that may be better than our own, or actually may be the truth. 
I can't speak for others, but that's how I plan to go through life. Sure, I may have my own views on things, but I try to be as open as I can to other people's points of view because they may be better than my own, or they may be able to expand my knowledge on a certain topic. Very true. So to bring it back to this topic about the Snyderverse, my first thought was that I believed this meant Snyder was moving on. But since listening to the other side of the argument, there are some indications that my original thoughts may not be the truth. That's why I watch so many different videos when things come out about like anything, whether it's a movie or something political. I try to watch a bunch of different videos because sometimes you're so steadfast and maybe you have tunnel vision on something. And, you know, I pride myself in being able to see both sides or several sides of arguments. You know what I mean? I don't immediately just usually jump to conclusions. I love to speculate with a lot of things and be excited about the possibilities of things. But I always know that there could be this. There could be that. You know what I mean? So, yes, this is very important. And that's not me saying I now think the Snyderverse is going to be restored, and that's what Snyder is hinting at. I'm saying that both sides have very valid points in the context they are stated in. If Snyder has moved on, and this is a goodbye event, then this poster would very much indicate that he is moving on. But if Snyder hasn't moved on, and his posts are still being cryptic, then this poster could indicate that he is teasing at more to come. But I'll be happy with either outcome. Either Snyder moves on and is happy, or the Snyderverse is restored and Snyder is happy. Either option is a good option for Snyder, and so is a good option for us fans. I'm going into it hoping for the Snyderverse, but expecting him to move on, and I'll be happy with whatever the outcome is. So make sure to let me know what you think of this information. Do you think Snyder is moving on and fans are overthinking it, or do you think Snyder is being cryptic and the Snyderverse is going to be restored? Let me know in the comments below. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye. Good job, man. Good job. Thank you for bringing that info to me too. Because I didn't know about none of that. I didn't know about none of that. And I had read it and thought, mm, this could be the, okay, like the end of an era. This, even he's saying in a trilogy now. Because mm. remember, remember that um, DVD set or whatever that was advertised by Warner Brothers, like right after, I think it was right after the Snyder Cut came out and they said something about um, the, the Snyder trilogy and everybody was like pissed off about that because it's like, yo, man, you know, like, so um, even he's saying trilogy now. So it's one of those things where it's like, okay, um. Is he closing the book? You know what I mean? He could be. He could be closing the book, but he he dog-eared the video. Well, I mean, not the video, the, the page. That's what they call it, dog-eared, right? That's what they call it, dog-eared. He folded that, folded that corner down. I'll be back. You know what I mean? So, I, I don't know, but um, we all, you know, hope and dream. That is going to be fully restored and we get the last two movies. Period. Point blank. Get over to our movie news and subscribe. Tell them Tyrone Magnus sent you. If you enjoyed my reaction, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And who knows? Maybe, maybe a miracle will happen. And uh, I'll find a way out there to Snyder Con. Who knows? Or maybe I'll just do something from here. Who knows what's planned. 10 million subscribers.